Tanish, I want to actually re-raise the issue in relation to St. Bridget's Hospital in Carrick and Shore. Um, I do so because in my time in politics, and I take a huge interest in health issues, I've rarely ever seen an issue that is actually where people have been misled so much. Like Minister Donnelly gave a commitment to Deputy Jackie Cahill that it would reopen in July. There was a number of commitments given to all public representatives. I have correspondence from July as well. And up until recently, in any conversations with the HSE, we understood this would reopen. This is a very sensitive matter in that part of the country for palliative care, for respite. The idea that we're just going to purchase beds now in other areas, it's not on. And it's not on that the HSE and Minister Donnelly and Minister Butler would treat public representatives in a way which up until literally you, hours or days ago, we've been totally misled. Thank you, Deputy. Tarnish so I would ask you really to look into this as to how all of a sudden this facility now is being closed, despite Deputy, assurances being given Deputy, to your own you. party members and to your own government thank members. Thank you, Deputy. We're over time. Tarnish um, thanks, Deputy. As I mentioned, um, Minister Butler and Minister Donnelly spoke to you about this uh, this morning. Um, and what I'm uh, advised by them uh, is that it can't reopen as a district hospital because the infrastructure is too old um, and inadequate uh, in the modern age, um, particularly now that uh, the issue of infection control is going to be so important into the future. Um, but it will be reopened uh, as a community health care facility, uh, improving uh, services in the area, particularly for those with chronic diseases like diabetes.